Good morning, everybody. It's uh, 838 right now. Welcome back to the program. Lou and Jackie here, and we're just talking about how much great music is around central Iowa. It just seems to, uh, great music seems to breed great music, and we have another festival coming up real soon. Absolutely. Another one, believe it or not. Yeah. So summer's not over yet. Don't worry about it. Incredible nope. things are heading your way, and we're so excited to be talking about the next big one heading your way called 515 Alive, going 16 wow. years strong, 16 believe years. it or not. Unbelievable. So we yep. have Dan Green joining us this morning to talk all about it. So first of all, when is this festival happening? August 17th and 18th. Which is like tomorrow, basically. Yeah, it feels like it's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. basically we have a couple tomorrow. of weeks to regroup. But okay, really, it's like know. a day, yeah. yeah. But si August 16th, or so, sorry, 17th and 18th. Okay, right. now, let's uh, give a, a little history of 515 Alive in case people aren't familiar with it because uh, you said been, been around for 16 years. Right. Now, where did this all start? So the short version of the long history of the event is it started downtown on Court Avenue. It was a free event for years. Um, it's it's it moved and changed ownership to um, it, it moved to downtown on the East Village portion on the bridge on Grand, um, and then when we took over, we did one year in the East Village. We did one year at Western Gateway Park, or excuse me, we did three years at Western Gateway Park, and then we did our first year at Waterworks last year, and we're back at Waterworks again. Yeah, Waterworks is a great spot. Oh yeah, have a concert like yeah, that. just it, it's just big, and you can you know you can do so much with the space, and not really confined by city streets and buildings. True. And, yeah. Uh, okay, so as an event director, what are people going to experience when they go to Five One Five Alive? So Five One Five is primarily an electronic and hip hop event. Okay. Um, you know, five stages of music, three stages of national talent, some great local talent. We have a silent disco stage. Um, you know, we have fire spinners, we have lasers, we have um, full production. Yeah, look at this. This, this yeah, is an amazing yeah. site. Yeah. So. Um, you know, and, and it's it's going to be it's going to be even bigger and better than that this year. A bigger stage, more lasers, more sound. Um, wow. Here's the picture you know, we were uh, yep, talking about off yep. air. That is uh, look at all those the, people. The ideal shot there. How oh, yeah. many bodies did we get out there? Um, we had about thirteen, a little less than thirteen thousand each day last year. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Yep. Unbelievable. Uh, when I think 515, I think electronica, yep. the, the mm -hmm. kind of more of that style of music. Why do you think that's important to have around our area, and why do you think it's been thriving? For so long, you know, it's just kind of the it, it's the full the way I like to explain it is the full concert experience. You know, it encompasses the sound, the lights, the great crowd and dancing, and just you know the movement with everybody. And it's it's just a it's a culture that really just blew up in probably the last six seven years. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's just one of the most fun concert environments you can go to, you know. And um, so I think that. In Iowa, we're not particularly a big electronic hotspot, right. but we are so centrally located that you know the big hotspots that are really popular for electronic music, like Kansas City, Minneapolis, and Chicago, they all come to us, and because we're kind of in the middle of all of it, mm -hmm. so it, it just kind of makes sense. And you know, to me, it's actually a little shocking that we have an electronic music festival this big, and you have places like you know Omaha or Minneapolis that don't. Um, so we're really fortunate in that sense. But um, you know, also the hip hop plays a big factor in this because Iowa, you know, has always done well with hip hop. So that's kind of why we've always tied them together, and that's kind of the roots of this event. It's always been hip hop and electronic music. Okay. Speaking okay. of the event, if people mm -hmm. want to make plans to come on out, what time uh, do they plan on? Should they plan on arriving? Sure. So if you're if you're camping, which we do offer camping on site, we're doing about 3,000 campers this year. Um, if you camp, you come in at 9 a.m. on Friday, the 17th. If you're not camping, um, doors are going to be opening at 1.30 and music starts at 2. And then Saturday, everything kicks off at noon with doors at 11.30. Okay, let's go back to the the things opening up at 9 o'clock in the morning for those that are camping. Sure. What am I going to be able to do between 9 and 1 that people that aren't camping can do? S set your tent up. You know, get your prime spot. Um, get, it, it does take a while to get in, do car search, um, you know, and, and get your spot. And then... Um, you kind of get first access, you know, you're not going to have to wait in the other general car line. So you get right into the concert once it's open through a separate entrance. Yeah, and just get, get to hang out all yeah, weekend You don't have to leave long. for 48 hours. There you go. Yeah. And are those spots still available if people are yep. looking to camp? camping spots are still available. They are becoming limited. Okay. Um, but camping is still available. All their tickets are available. Okay, let's talk about the people that are going to be performing. Sure. Okay, because you said how many stages are there, are there again? Five stages. Five different stages. That's yep. nonstop. It's nonstop. It's, it's a lot going on at once. Okay, yeah. So who's going to be on those stages? So, um, you know, our, our, our headliners this year um, in the electronic world and hip hop world are some of the biggest acts you can get. So um, Bass Nectar is going to be performing Saturday night and Future is going to be performing um, Friday night. 
And then, you know, a, a whole slew of other artists, like guys like R.L. Grime, um, Ganja White Knight, Trippy Red, not necessarily names that might mean a lot to, you know, certain people, but in this culture, like, you, you know, we, know we, were, we were able to really get some, you know, prime talent this year, and we're, we're really excited about it. If someone has never been to 515, mm -hmm. what would you say to them to come out and just experience it for the first time? Well, most people that have never come out are shocked. Um, the, a lot of people that have never been to an event like this don't realize what exists, like that this exists. You mm -hmm. know, they don't, they don't even understand the difference between this and a regular concert. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a true sound experience. It's a true lighting experience. Um, there's, there's art that's around. It, it's a whole different culture than kind of your normal music festival. Um, and it's, it's a scene where a lot of these kids are going to five, six of these types of events a summer. It's, it's a very tight knit community. Um, you know, you'll make new friends, um, you'll have a blast with your current friends, and you know, a lot of people describe it as the best weekend of the year. It kind of nice. almost sounds like, uh, you mentioned some of the other activities going on, it almost sounds like a carnival type atmosphere. Yeah, almost, yeah. yeah. Uh, just get, we do know. have aerial artists, we, we yeah, so. Uh, yeah, very so, much like yeah, a carnival yeah, atmosphere. Yeah, it is, it Now, is. do you need to know the music uh, to come out to the, this event? Do you need to, to oh. go and do some homework or some research on any of these bands? Or? Absolutely not. I mean. Most people in our demographic will know like who Future is. He's a, I mean, he's on the, all over the radio. But you know, no, it's if someone could come to this event, not know a single person, have the absolute time of their life. Um, it's it, for us, it's as much about the experience as it is about the lineup. Um, which you know, some festivals really are lineup focused. They just have a stage, and mm -hmm. that's kind of it. We want the whole thing to be just kind of like a wow factor. Um, so yeah, you know, if you don't know the music. Come on out, have a great time, and um, you know we can we can guarantee you will. It I, sounds interesting. Like I say, I love it that it's at Waterworks Park, so you can just kind of have your own festival area as well oh, yeah. to have oh, that yeah. experience. Let's talk about how we get there and tickets. Are they still available? Tickets are still available, so they're at 515live.com. Okay. Um, all sorts of different passes: VIP, single day, two day. Um, again, camping, stuff like that. And yeah. those are all still available VIP is still available? Because yep. we've been talking about the VIP uh, aspect. Experience. Of, <laughs> uh, it's uh, worth uh, it. <laughs> explain what the VIP people get as opposed to our regular. Regular ticket is fine, but VIP VA, is the way to go if you can afford it. VIP gets air-conditioned bathrooms. There you so, go. That's yeah, enough that, said. Oh, okay, yeah. done. Yeah. Okay. They, uh, <laughs> you know, some, seriously, what so, else yeah, do they yeah. get? Some front row, front row seating um, with the, you know a gated off area so they can really be at the front almost at any time. A raised platform so they can see. They get um, a couple merch items. They get an official poster that's only for VIP. Um, they get, you know, they have charging stations so they can charge their phones. They have an express entry line. So there's there's quite a few perks for the VIP. Absolutely. Tickets. Yeah. Yeah, if you can do the VIP, it, when we first started doing that years ago, saying who's going to, hopefully people will take advantage of this. And once they saw the benefits of having a VIP package, yeah. they get snapped oh, up that quick. I'm, yeah, I'm surprised there's still some. I was going to say, I'm glad you there are still some available. Yeah. yeah, there's not a lot of those as well as the general camping passes, mm -hmm. but they are available as of right now. Get them while you can. Yeah. Any changes for this year? I know you said everything's kind of bigger and better when it comes yeah. to laser the music, everything sure. that's involved, but any big changes this year? Um, the, probably the biggest changes that we added, for one, we added more camping. Okay. Um, and then the other big change is we added an, a whole other stage of national acts. So we went from two of the five stages being national acts to now three of the five stages being national acts. We had a new stage called the Thunderdome. The Thunderdome. Yeah, the Thunderdome, which is, um, it's going to be sets with DJs going back to back is what they call it. And so that's two DJs that usually play separate that we pair up to play together. So really unique, special sets that you might not see somewhere else. Yeah. Um, you know, one of them, they're doing three of these collaboration sets across the country this whole summer. And we get one of them. And those. we get one of them. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's so, huge. So that's going to be a cool one. We're adding also these really big shade structures. One of the biggest complaints last year was, um, you know, you're out in the hot sun in the middle of a park and yeah. there's not much shade at Waterworks in the actual grounds. Yeah, all the trees are around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you're kind of like, why are we not under these trees, <laughs> you know, when we're surrounded by them? So we're adding um, that new tent, uh, new stage is a tent. Um, we have another tented stage, and then we're adding some shade structures around the park that nice. can just, you know, you can lounge under during the day. So you, this thing is evolving every year. Every as, year. As people oh, make suggestions. Yeah, I mean, greatly. Leaps and bounds every year. That's Unbelievable. Awesome. Yeah. And it all kicks off? 
On August 17th. August 17th. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, okay, soon. so we got to let this guy go because yeah. he has soon. some work to do. <laughs> <laughs> or some rest to get before the 17th yeah, of August. Yeah. Uh, 515 Alive Music Festival, folks. Waterwork Parks. If you've never been to Waterworks for a park, for a concert like this, this is something yeah. you really want to experience as a perfect venue. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. Thank Good you job, man. So Thank you so much. Us. Appreciate it. It is 848 right now. We're going to take care of a little bit.